Uh, today we're going to be ranking every theme park in Florida. Now, I don't think... Yeah, Bush Gardens is on this. The one spot... Yeah, they're all on this. So, we got this all. Um, Universal Studios Florida. That's an S tier. Um, I really enjoy this park a lot. It has some good rides like Revenge of the Mummy. Um, it has Gringotts, which I've never done, but it's a good ride. I've heard. Um, E.T., Red Rocket. There's some good ones. So, And I really like the atmosphere of this park. So, S tier. Disney's Animal Kingdom. Hmm. And by the way, I can only have two parks in S tier, so I really got to think about this. All right, I'm going to put Animal Kingdom in A tier. I love Animal Kingdom. I would put it in S tier if I could have three, but I can only have two in S tier. One park I like a little bit better than Animal Kingdom, so that's why it's not up there. SeaWorld Orlando. This park is a C tier. Um, the theming is pretty good, I would say, for the company it's owned by, which is SeaWorld. Their theming is not very good. I mean, they have Busch Gardens parks, and they have the SeaWorld parks, so their theming is not really good compared to SeaWorld Orlando, so I'm going to put that there. But I think the rides suck. Like, the only rides that are actually good are the roller coasters, but, again, like, they don't have good, like, family rides, really. Bes besides, like, the Sesame Street stuff, but that's for young, young kids, so... If if you're around the age of, like, 10, you're too scared to go on the big coasters. Yeah, there's nothing you can do, you know. So that's part of the reason why that that's down there. Because when I had that experience a few years ago, when I was, like, 12, 13, and I was too scared to do coasters, yeah, that, that would have been an F tier. Because the only good ride that I could do is Infinity Falls, which wasn't even open then, so... <laughs> There was really nothing I could do. And Bush Gardens Tampa. D's here. Um, I don't really like that park because the theming sucks. I think that's the part I don't really like about it. I mean, there's a few rides that are good, like Cobus Curse, Siren Gwazi. Those are good rides, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't like it that much. It's not that good of a park. Uh, Magic Kingdom. Gonna put that right above SeaWorld. I don't like Magic Kingdom. It's too crowded. There's kids' rides. And the only good rides are Space Mountain. And it's not even that intense of a coaster. So I don't like Magic Kingdom. Therefore, I just don't like it. Um, Epcot. Hmm. See, I don't know if I would put Epcot above Animal Kingdom or right below it. Epcot does have my favorite ride in the world. But I'm going to put it still one below Animal Kingdom. I still do have another S tier, but we'll get to that. Fun spot. I'm going to put it in Never Been because I've never been to the one in Kissimmee. But I have been to the one in Orlando, and I would put this in F tier. This park sucks. There's, like, one good coaster, and then the rest of them are bad, and then there's no other rides to ride, really. It's literally a carnival, a permanent carnival. Like, I don't like it, and it's not that good. So, I'm going to put that in. I'll put it in F. I really can't judge because I've only been to the one in Orlando, but I'm going to put it there. Disney's Hollywood Studios. Add more rides. I'll be happy. They also have too much thrill rides. They need some more rides for people that don't want to go on alien swirling saucers and not want to go on Mickey and Minnie's, but don't want to do Tower of Terror and Aerosmith. You know what I'm saying? They need more rides like that. All right. Same problem with um, SeaWorld is what I'm talking about. Um, and then Islands of Adventure, that's the S tier. 
park. I guess you 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 could guess it. But I do like Universal Studios more because Revenge of the Mummy is just such a good ride. So I'm putting that above um islands. I do really like Doctor Doom though. I've never been on Hagrid's and Velocicoaster though because of the wait times. So I can't judge. <laughs> but and then Legoland, Florida. Ooh. I'm gonna put that right above SeaWorld. The rides suck, I can tell you that. But here's the thing, when every ride is a walk-on, it's a better experience than going on a little bit higher quality rides at SeaWorld and having to wait an hour. You know what I'm saying? Because Infinity Falls, I waited an hour for that ride, and Legoland has basically the same kind of ride, just not as fun, <laughs> you know? And then Legoland has a lot of coasters. They have, like, five, I think. There's only one that actually has a good drop, and that's the Lego Race one. It has a fu pretty fun drop, in my opinion, but the rest of the ride sucks. It's just Primeval Whirl <laughs> at Animal Kingdom, so that ride isn't that great. And then they have the Flying School one, which is not intense. People say it's intense. It's not intense. So that's it, I would say, with Legoland. I mean, they just have a lot of walk-ons. Like, the dragon is always a walk-on. It's pretty nice that the rides are walk-ons, but I don't like the park that much. So, that's my overall ranking of the Florida theme parks.